So today we have another update on those charter negotiations, the teams, and NASCAR. And it's not a very good one. All right, let's get straight into it. I feel like every couple of weeks we have a slight update when it comes to these charter talks. And it's usually the higher up saying that the charter talks are going good and that they're close to a deal. And then everybody else says that that is not at all the case. It's beginning to get a little bit frustrating and a little bit scary, especially with this new article out of the Associated Press. Well, right now we're being told that the charter talks are close then this associated press article comes out and it really reveals a lot of potentially what is going on behind the scenes some of it we've already kind of heard about one of those things is that nascar does not want to make charters permanent and we have a little bit more of a description they're offering another seven years with the potential of another seven years after that in their most recent deal they just, they're not interested in making these charters permanent. Well, in another article by ESPN by Ryan McGee, there was a mention in the article about charters. And apparently Jim France had reportedly told the teams, we can only support you if we're supported by the media. I'll be posting both of these articles in the description. But that's crazy. Then you had... Denny Hamlin say this. I'm going to put the tweet on the screen right here. And I don't know if Denny's 100% right or not. I'm not sure. We don't know everything that goes on financially when it comes to the race teams and NASCAR. But I wouldn't think that the charters would cost them anything except for maybe leverage and stuff along those lines. So I think that's really unfortunate. I don't know. I still don't, I'm still so on the fence personally when it comes to charters but it seems like the race teams really want it and I, I just want to make the race teams happy I feel like that's the most important thing I want to make the race teams happy I want them to get the money they deserve I want them to get the respect and the seat at the table that they deserve and some other things that have been thrown around when it comes to these charter talks and we're talked a little bit about in these articles and a lot over social media is the fact that the France family seems like they're putting a clause essentially in this charter agreement that they have came up with that hasn't been agreed to but has been offered to the teams where the France family can purchase a charter and I'm not at all for this I'm big against Roger Penske owning IndyCar it's just a conflict of interest even though Penske has honestly done a pretty good job when it comes to that aspect of owning IndyCar we won't get into all that stuff on this channel but I just think it's a really bad idea for them to do that put that in there another thing that was mentioned in the Associated Press article that NASCAR teams are worried that the next deal that NASCAR will be sending them will be a take it or leave it sort of deal and that NASCAR is potentially willing to leave some of these bigger teams behind like a Hendrick Motorsports like a Joe Gibbs Racing these teams were mentioned in the article and it also seems like a lot of teams are not on the same page when it comes to these discussions there's a lot of fractures in these teams these teams are not working together the RTA are not working together the way they probably should during these times. There's a lot of disagreements all over the board. And I think a lot of those disagreements could be because of fear and the fact that these these offers that they have gotten apparently are better than the one they currently have in place. But most people in the industry feel like, on the team side at least, that they should be getting more than what's being offered and they want the charters to be permanent. But that will be all for this video. We'll get more information on charters very soon. Like I said, both of these articles, the one from ESPN and the one from the Associated Press, will be in the description. We're just we're having a lot of things go on with these charters. And hopefully we get an, get an announcement on some sort of deal that's fair for both sides very soon. 
But I put this up, like I said, as an update, but also as a discussion. What do you guys think about the charter agreement? What do you think should happen with the charters? Do you even really understand charters? Let me know all your thoughts down below about the charter situation that we currently have in the sport. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace. Peace.